English or native language. One of the hardest choices for every bilingual content creator on YouTube. If you are watching this, you probably have the same dilemma. Hello, guys. My name is Dan Dan, a content creator from China. I studied in filmmaking at Chapman University Dodge College, a top five film school in the U.S., majoring in creative producing. So why don't you go to Hollywood and win some Oscars? <laughs> But the more I work behind the scene, the more I want to tell my own stories. So I started this channel last year. But since then, there is always a voice keeps popping up in my head. Why don't you do it in English? Yeah, why not? Let's break into pros and cons. First, cons. There were some reasons that stopped me from doing it at the very beginning. Even though English is the biggest language on YouTube, and everyone says that do it in English to reach the most audience, it's just a tough for non-native speaker. I have lived in the U.S. for eight years and been comfortable speaking English in my daily life. But creating English content is entirely different. It's just not as easy as our native language. I speak Chinese in my day-to-day -day life, to my family, my friends, even to my dogs. So the biggest challenge here is fear. Another concern for me is I may lose some Chinese audience, including my friends and family, who are usually my biggest fans. They wait for my videos, give me feedback, and spread word. Now I'm totally on my own. Even with subtitles, it's just different. I think the language barrier is never been the meaning of the words. There are translators everywhere, but the mindset and topic choice, even the way we guess your numbers, is different. This means eight in China. Different audience cares about different things. It feels like a either or situation. Hmm. Now, how about the pros? Well, I have three huge motivation for creating English content. Firstly, I fell in love with YouTube is because of some talented filmmaker from all of the world, like Nicholas Crystal, Life of Reza, Natalie Ling, Gox, and a lot. My goal is to produce universal-related artwork, as they did. If someday I can collaborate with them or even just have their comments on my video, I couldn't imagine how satisfied I would be. And speaking English is the only way to make it happen. Nicholas and Gox already made it as a non-native speaker. Why should I try if someone I admire already did it? Secondly, I really want to show my home country to the world, the beautiful sceneries, our lifestyles, our philosophies. YouTube and other major media set are restricted in China, making it hard for the world to see what China really looks like. Many Asian content creators from Japan, Korea, Thailand, India are out there, but not many from China. One day, I saw a street interview online where people were asked to name three Asian countries, and many did mention China. It shocked me because China is huge and there are made in China products everywhere. How could they don't know China? I think the problem is that we didn't present ourselves to the world enough. If we don't show up that often, people just forget. It's just like content creators should post frequently. Some Chinese YouTuber have done a great, like Little Chinese Everywhere. Big respect to her. I think we just need to produce more local content in a global language. Lastly, I really want to hear voice from people that with completely different background than mine. I love reading European literature since I was a child, and it always makes me feel a strong connection with the others. Even though we live in different countries and eras, it feels amazing, like a time and space travel experience. As a content creator, I also want to know if my work can resonate with people from diverse backgrounds. Also, people are often more interested in foreign countries than their own. Everyday life can be fascinating to outsiders. Every time I visit a foreign country, I feel excited. But for locals, it's just another day. They don't see the interesting aspects of their lives as outsiders do. We live in China, and if you ask me what's special about life here, I say nothing. But as a traveler, they could say a lot. There is an old Chinese poem that says, "不识庐山真面目，只缘身在此山中 which means you can see the beauty of a mountain clearly if you are inside it. By sharing my life, 
you might help me to see the beauty in my boring life. Based on the pros and cons above, I won't give it a shot to make English videos. This is my first attempt. Let's see how it goes. Making these videos was hard. I postponed it for a long time because I knew it would be super difficult. There is never a perfect moment, and my English didn't get better by waiting. So now it's probably the most perfect time ever.